What's up? So I have made a video about how to create a digital planner in Microsoft OneNote as well as the templates that I made and use. However, I haven't exactly shown how to use those templates or exactly how I use them personally. So I have decided that I'm going to make a three-part little video series on how I use those templates. And it's three parts because I'm going to break it down to monthly, weekly, and daily planning. It, if I put it in one video, it's gonna be really long. It's gonna be really long and people won't have the patience to watch all of that. So I'm just gonna break it down uh, because I think it's quite detailed. So um, I wanna go through it step by step. You know what I mean? So this is gonna be the first video, which is going to be about monthly planning. Now, if you're new to this channel, my name is Anna. I love to make videos about planning, organization, and life management. So if that interests you, consider subscribing and tap on the bell if you'd like. So you will never miss an upload, especially the two videos that are upcoming of this series. Now, um, let's just cut right to it and we'll go on my laptop and I'll show you how I plan my month. Okay, so in this first video, I'm going to show you how I basically set up for the month. I'm going to do August, even though it's a bit early, but I'm going to do it for the purpose of this video. Usually I do it a few days before the month starts, but because of the purpose of this video, I'm going to do it a bit earlier just to demonstrate how I do it. As you can see, it's empty. So I'm going to go to templates. I'm going to copy the daily sheet first. Go to August and the shortcut to easy copy and pasting is Control V. So I just continuously do that. So I have 31 pages here. I'm going to delete this. This just automatically comes up when you make a new section, but this not needed. So how I do it is first, first, and then the weekday is going to be here. So August starts on Saturday, and then we're just going to go from here. And why I do this is because when you look at the display here, you can see the date, and then down here is the weekday. Now that I have finished this, I'm going to go back to the templates and I'm going to pick the weekly sheet, copy that, go back to August and between every Sunday and Monday, I'm going to put one weekly sheet. So. It's the same thing, control V. So now I'm going to go back to the templates and I'm going to get my month overview. Copy that. And I just paste one and I'm going to go put it on the very top. That is done. The first thing we're going to do is the dates. You see they're all ones by default because every month is different obviously. Um, so we're going to change that now that is finished so now I'm gonna move to the goals for the month so I fill that in first you can type here or if you have a drawing tablet for your laptop uh, which I personally do I use that instead because I find it more fun to write and also, you can use a like a two dollar stylus that you got from I don't know Amazon or Wish or to be honest, or anywhere, and you can use that for your tablet or your phone. Since that is done, I'm going to use the notes section. Now, again, you can use this notes section for anything. I use this notes section for 
my as you can call it a brain dump so i just write different sections of my life and then the tasks every every task that i can think of for that section that i need to do and i also use the grid lines they're a good guideline You can get your tasks from your head, your Google Calendar if you schedule things on there, or your the notes on your phone if you're doing quick notes. I also get my tasks from Trello because I use Trello for managing different projects in my life. Now the next thing is we're gonna grab a highlighter. So I have a little highlighter explanation tab here. The pink is going to be the urgent task. So. We'll start with the purple highlighter. So schedule tasks. I'm just gonna go through everything. And now we're gonna get the pink highlighter. These are going to be those urgent tasks. So things that should be done pretty much as soon as possible. The sooner the better. So the next highlighter color I am going to put is important or high value tasks. So if you do when you do those tasks, you get a lot from it. For example, if you finish a specific course, you get a lot from it. Versus if you organized your spices drawer, if you know what I mean. Now we're going to look at all of our tasks and see what needs to be done basically all the time. You kind of see that everything kind of has its own category now. So now that we have that done, I have another box here called constant to do's. If you're just making this plan for the first time, constant to do's I recommend doing on your template. So I recommend doing it here because it's going to be the same stuff every month basically. So it'll just make it easier for you if you put it on the template. So every time you copy and paste the template, it'll be there. This is the part where I like, I prefer to type my things. Now we're going to move on to the calendar itself. We're going to add those scheduled events to that calendar so we know what date and time they are. So you're going to look at your notes on your brain dump and see what the purple tasks are. And then we're going to add them to the calendar. Easy as that. Now we're gonna add the constant to-dos that we need to do. So we're gonna look at the notes and the constant to-dos list and see what we need to do and what days we basically need to do. So now next things are urgent. So that's the pink. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate this with a few stickers. I already have a template of stickers just to make it easier for myself. Now this is pretty much what my monthly calendar 
it looks like. I'm gonna quickly explain these two as well. So these two boxes you fill out at the end of the month. So what did I achieve this month? You put three of the biggest things that you achieved that month. And then how will you improve next month is also a great way to reflect and see what kind of didn't go that well and how you can be better next time. Now, and that's basically how I plan my month in OneNote with the templates. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and I will see you on the next episode when I show you how I plan my weeks. See you now!